Hey folks, Roland Martin here. I bet you recognize this guy. This is Don Rollins from the Spike It Corporation. You know, the number one flagship product that you've had for so many years has been the chartreuse dip and dye that everybody uses on their tails to do the chartreuse tails. Now that's a great, great, great product for dipping right then, but it does bleed. And the disadvantage is that you can't store them in a big pile together right. because you bleed. But you have a solution for it. Yes. You have a paint that you can paint the worms, plastics, any color you want, and, and they don't bleed. So maybe you can explain that. We call this a worm paint. Okay. And as opposed to dye which penetrates the plastic, the yeah. worm paint actually is a coating that goes on the outside. Okay. And it doesn't bleed. This is the same type of paint a manufacturer would use to paint the back of their base or the tails or something they're going to sell them in back. So okay. since they don't bleed, you can do it six months or two days ahead of time and you don't have to worry about it causing problems. Okay. It's easy to use. If we take a white, this is a chartreuse here, and it gives you really bright colors. Oh boy, that is really bright. Now that will not bleed yeah. once it dries. You can store it in the bag with the other baits right next to these other baits, and they won't bleed. And that's a huge advantage when you have a bag of baits. One more thing we have is a white worm paint. Now the advantage of a white you can't really, you can't take a yellow, a chartreuse dye and decorate a dark worm that well. It gives it, a, it changes the color, but it doesn't give you really bright chartreuse. But if you take the white, dip it in here. This is a green pumpkin. So mm -hmm. we're going to dip this in the white first. Okay. We'll let that dry, and now we can dip it into a chartreuse. You know what would be a good color? A pink. Okay. Let's just try a pink. Right. I love pink. Let's let it dry for just a couple seconds here. That's all pretty dark dry now. Yeah, we give it a couple minutes to dry. We're going to take the pink dye now. I love pink. Pink's, pink's a, a dye, a tail color that people don't work with. But years ago, I had so much success on pink tails, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of gone away. But I love the pink tail. Ooh, and, that, and that's wild. That is, that is money in the bank, son. You know these colors, Fish get kind of used to colors, and I think your and you, your claim to fame is that you'll make any color and make any lure any color in the right. whole world because there are so many different vari variations, different lakes, different areas, mm -hmm. and just by changing colors, it can make a huge difference in a school of fish. Right. I don't know how many times you can start off with, well, just changing colors, and boom, catch fish right and left. And that is really that's so pretty. That's so and pretty. once this is dry, you can make up a dozen of those and put them in a bag, and they won't bleed on each other. Now, Don, that's really a fantastic tale. Mm -hmm. But what's wrong with some more design? Why can't we do some more? What do you? What would you suggest? We've got the worm and chunk paint. Yeah. It has a small brush already in the bottle. Okay. And it's another formulation of a coating, just like the worm paint. Yeah. It's made to be permanent. Yeah. I tell you, if you hold that, okay, just hold I that hold still. Right I'm, gonna paint the, I'm gonna paint a few dots on the back here. We can do a dot here. Ooh, I like that. Hey, that really accentuates it. Boy, isn't that nice? Wow. Those aren't any, they're just random patterns. I got the only pink tailed, white dotted, <laughs> five and four and a half inch hard tail in existence. And we'll let those white dots dry for a couple minutes and we'll come back on top of those with a pink worm and chunk paint also. And it'll look just like the tail. Okay. Cool. There's still a little bit of chartreuse on these dots. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. And again, it just shows you how the chartreuse. Really cool. Yeah, it really holds it. Holds yeah. it. Nice color there. Yep. Now that's yeah. there's just so many different combinations of a way to go. Not believe it or not, saltwater. I really like just the, the pure white for for the mm -hmm. snook and for the redfish and stuff. But for the bass, you can't beat that 297 right. green pumpkin as a base, and then the tail colors can can vary. But, you know, you really got something going here. Hey, well, thank you, Don. And thank let's you, go out and try them. And, hey, folks, it's so much fun painting up these lures. And remember, the Spike It product, they make everything in the world for a lure, for a color and a lure.